demo I'm going to show you. I'll show you the in-place customization, drag and drop form design. That's a big win. Um, I'll uh, show you multi-field multi select really quickly just to kind of motivate how much time that's going to save you. Um, talk about form sections, flexible you know, form design, the fewer constraints that I mentioned there, multiple forms per entity. I'll show you where these things are and filter lookup fields, and then we'll drill down on these in more detail in a subsequent section. Okay, so let me do this. Suppose I just navigate to accounts, so unfiltered accounts. Here I am just on an account view here. I'm on the account list. I click customize. I want to do something like customize the account form. I just click form, so I'm in customize. Then I go to form, boom, that's two clicks. Right, that comes up. So two clicks there compared to, what was that in CRM4? So I'm here, where do you go? You go settings, customization, customize entities. Now I picked an easy one because it's accounts. It starts with A, it's at the top of the list. But you know, if it's opportunities, I gotta scroll down a couple of times. I'd usually miss it, you go too far. Then you gotta go back up here. Then you double click it, then you bring up this, then you go to forms and views, then you go to, you know, form, and like I said, you sometimes don't appreciate how much more productive this is unless you do them kind of side by side. So compare that to customize form. Boom. Now I'm customizing the account form. Again, you have to have privileges to do this. You've got to have the right set of privileges. But assuming that you do, this is the account form here. So I'm just customizing away. So now let's take a take a look at, at what we can do here. Notice you come in here, I'm on the home tab, body is selected, which is this, right? Remember I said that these tabs are collapsible and expandable, so you see what we've got here. I can make these so that they expand or, or collapse by default. Here's my general tab, and if I want some other fields on this form, I don't have to use the arrow keys anymore. Notice there are no arrow keys. If I do want county to show up on this form, now yeah, I just drag it out there. Let's put county right underneath uh, territory there. So there's there's a drag and drop. Um, much nicer. Notice this only show unused fields. That sort of implies that hmm, now if I, I want to see you know fields all fields including those that are already used. That kind of implies that the same field can be put on a form twice, which leads me to this thing here. Notice it's got this header. Section of what's a header? Well, if you click here on the header, see this is a different form section. I can select footer to go down to the footer if I want to. If I click header, what I might want to do here is put something on the header form that I always want to stay in place. So no matter how far somebody tabs down, if I do have you know 100 tabs here, somebody scrolls way down, you know it'd be a shame if they couldn't see the Yomi account name or something like that. I'm still not sure. I know what that Yomi account name is. I guess I need to learn kanji or something for that. But um, I can put something like that there, or you know, the SIC code, or the territory, or account segment. We'll just pop a couple of things up there. So my drag and drop, I put that thing up there. Okay, so I can put anything I want into the form header. I could put various things into the form footer. This is important to see those. How about navigation? This is one of my favorites. So I click navigation, I get the navigation section. So this is all the, the what? The one-to-many relationships, the entities with the, that this form has a parent relationship to. I can move these things around if I want to, you know, sort of, let's uh, change more, you know, let's kind of demote more addresses a little bit. I could delete it if I want to. But I no longer have to go and, you know, certainly... What? What's the alternative in CRM 4? Oh, maybe customizing the site map or for a custom entity changing the display order that most people never knew was there in the first place. So this is just a drag and drop opportunity. Okay, so much easier um, scenario for this than, than you, you, you had in, in, in CRM 4. Um, if I go to a, let's go to a, uh, well, I don't know, let's go back to the body. Okay, and now let's, uh, I don't know. How about on the general? This is a general tab, right? Remember I mentioned that these are all tabs? If I double click on that, notice tab properties include now events. So tabs can have events. 
exceptions can have events, and we'll uh, again cover this in more detail. This UI for scripting is, uh, is considerably richer and a little bit more complex, but you can see, you can kind of get a glance at some of the productivity um, improvements you'll get out of this because it works in terms of libraries, so it promotes reuse of JavaScript across, uh, you know, out of the box you get that. You have to still write the JavaScript, but once you do that, it's inherently reusable across different, different forms for an entity or different, uh, different entities. Um, so that's a benefit, and we'll spend some time with that. Look at assigned security roles. This is an important one, and I'm going to show you an example, not so much, I don't have the time right now to show you how to do this, but I'll give you a quick, but you can kind of, kind of guess that if you assign a form to selected security roles rather than display to everyone, you can control who can see which form, so I can display a more complex opportunity form to the inside sales team than to the sales executives, the managers that just need to get in there and, you know, do the basics and that sort of thing. Now, when I'm done with this, so what do I do? Well, I can save, then I can publish, or save and close, and then what? Publish entity, right? So any changes I make, so that's really all you have to do. Let me show you a couple of other things, and I'll do in-place customization here. Go to Opportunities, and I'll open an Opportunity Form. And here's kind of the, here's, here's an implication of the, the fact that you can look at multiple forms for a security role. So here's the form, not in design view here, I'm not customizing it, I'm using it. But notice if I pull down this thing here, here's how you navigate to different forms. So I've, I'm a system administrator here, but I've defi defined a form that is maybe a more complex version of the form for inside sales, and it's got a, uh, you know, a, you know, a section on the form that other people won't see. This is the complicated stuff here for inside sales team, which important with important stuff like, uh, you know, the source campaign and the exchange rate, things like that, right? But the point is, you can put things there that are appropriate for some people. Other people won't see them. Now, most people, probably needless to say, but you don't necessarily expose this, right? The only reason I'm seeing this is because I'm the sys administrator. So if you're inside sales, you probably don't see that. You just navigate to your version of the form. But that's something that you can control as, as the person that's doing the customize. So let me show you how easy it is to create a custom lookup. I'm going to customize. Let's customize the opportunity form. So this is in place customization here. Then we go to the field explorer. Now the field explorer is nice, but look at the bottom of this field explorer. You can do a little bit more than just explore fields. I can create an entirely new field. Okay, so I create a new field, and suppose this field is what? Contact. I'm going to create a lookup field. Here's a new field type. Look up. What do I want to look up? Well, I want to look up a contact. And my scenario here is I want to create a lookup field for contact. So this is going to effectively be the you know the primary contact for the opportunity, but I'm going to make it so that the only thing I see here are contacts that work for that are associated with the right organization. So that's all I have to do to create a lookup field. So it creates the many-to-one relationship for me behind the scenes rather than the way it did it in 4.0, which requires you to create that relationship and then add the field to the form. So here's my contact field that I just created. So let's drag that over and put it underneath account. Now, as a field property of contact, I double click on that. Look what you get here. This is a pretty nice substitute for having to write a bunch of, well, it wasn't, the, the code wasn't too bad. The JavaScript code you had to write to do this in in, uh, in four, but it was a, you know, tricky enough. This is certainly going to be an easier way to do it. I'll be patient here and let this come back. Okay, so I scroll down here, and notice I've got this related records filtering section. So what I want to do is only show records where. What do I want to do here? Well, you have to sort of decipher your way through this double parenthesis. It's a little bit cryptic, but you get used to it. So what I want to do is I want to make it where the potential customer selected on the opportunity account there contains 
And notice the lookup now is restricted just to um, things that have a, one, a, a many to one relationship to this contains list. So in this case, it's gonna be contacts. So I've created that and I can allow users to turn the filter on or not. I'll go ahead and accept all the rest of the defaults. And now all I have to do is what? I can do save and close. And let's uh, publish the entity. And when it's published, I'll refresh it. So F5 to refresh that. And when it comes back, what I probably want to do, here's, here's my contact lookup, by the way. Let's create a new opportunity where we can see actually the advantage of that. I'll go to a, an account where I've got a fair amount of uh, contact records. So Microsoft, there's the Microsoft Corporation, and there's my filtered contact list. And notice how easy that was to do. So that's a big win, you know, this is just, uh, you know, that's pure declarative uh, customization, no code required. And, you know, obviously that could be exposed uh, in, a, in a section of the form or a tab that's only exposed to certain security roles. There's all kinds of things you can do with that. So uh, that's uh, kind of a nice, uh, a nice win. All right, that's that, uh, that declarative customization piece. Let me jump back to the slide deck for a minute. So that scratches the surface of what you can do with customization. There's a lot more there. Um, so I encourage you to, uh, to come back for the, the specific section.